Hey you guys, I know this is out of the ordinary. I'm nervous about doing it like this, but um, first of all, I'm gonna say how I am already miss y'all, even though we're not having Sunday school. Um, we've been doing a lot of different things around here and um, I'm gonna share some of that with y'all. I'm gonna share your lesson. We're gonna talk in depth about some things. Got a little entertainment for you from the Hempling household. Y'all forgive me if I start coughing because I've been under the weather and Mason is under the weather. We've been sick. Um, I got to use a virtual doctor today and it was pretty cool. I may never go back to my doctor again. So anyways, I know first of all that y'all are frustrated and y'all are experiencing a lot of emotions. Um, sadness, aggravation, um, confusion, a lot of different things going on. But I want y'all just to remember, don't look at my nails, I haven't been in the nail joint, that um, first of all, this is just a space and time. And, you know, we just all have to be vigilant. And that's Lila popping because y'all know it's Sunday school. She's either eating Fruit Loops or drinking a Sprite because she's not getting up in time to get ready for Sunday school while she should. She's mine, so I can say that. Anyways, back to what I was saying. <laughs> Say, hey, Lala. Hey, Lala. Hey, Lala. She's eating Oreo balls. <laughs> I tried to get her to play a song for y'all, but this is the best we could do. This is our Easter rabbit. And he's singing when the playing when the saints can watch it in. So, anyway. I, I just want y'all to know that we're gonna, um, we can't take your prayer requests like we normally do, um, but I will pray with y'all. We can spiritually. We can spiritually, that's, that's right. Um, we're doing our own, um, form of, not Rick and Bubba, but, um, Hempling, Hempling, the Hunter's Chapel Church, best I can do. Anyways, I know that we had the big Easter, per, uh, play planned. We're still gonna do that, no matter if we're doing that in... July and it's hot. It'll be okay. Um, I know that we had planned some spring break trips and um, that's going to happen. We're just going to have to wait it out just a little bit. Also, um, you know, y'all been inviting some friends and talking to them and we've been doing really good with our littles and y'all have been really good. Um, mentors for our little ones and showing and helping and we appreciate that um all i can tell y'all guys is to pray and we're gonna pray some more but with all that let's take a minute of silence and do a little prayer here bow your head Lila. what do you dear lord in heaven thank you for letting me come to us tonight most of all thank you for giving me a way of being able to still talk to these kids and have Bible study with them and show that you are forever on the throne. I ask you, Lord, just to be with me because I'm nervous doing it this way and also just give me the strength and touch all these kids, touch your friends, touch your families, put a hedge of protection around us all, Lord. But most of all, Father, you, you be glorified in all of this. In your name we pray. Amen. 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 So, y'all know Mr. Robert has to sit around in a mask because he's still working, and y'all know that I have to protect Mason and Mom from all these germies because the counts are low. <laughs> anyway, um, our lesson this week is another one leading up to Easter, kind of like we've been having. Um, I had wrestled with this lesson, um, and I had to just pray about it before I could teach it, and God took it a whole different way for me, and so um, our lesson this week is supposed is about heaven is a wonderful place, and our focus is death is not the end. That's kind of the problem I had because I'm like, death. I'm going to talk to these kids about death right now. But with that being said, um, you know, sometimes God just glorifies and takes us in a different route. The most thing I want you to see is that he is in everything. Um, we're going to start out with, um, not too much on uh, Paul made the case for bodily resurrection of Jesus from the dead in Corinthians 15, 20-23, and 35-44. Make sure y'all read that in your Bible or on your electronic device. 
Paul explained the Christian's resurrection. In the New Testament times, the first fruits of the harvest were sacrificed to God because they were always the first of the crop foretelling the harvest that was to come. Jesus' sacrifice was first fruits, promising something better for Christians after death. So, you know, um, I wrestled back and forth about the death thing, and then I kept thinking of the resurrection and its many promises. The many promises that, it's give, that it gives us. So, I kind of switched gears a little bit, and I went to the resurrection, because the resurrection is the rewards of, you know, and the rewards of faith. Through resurrection, God has offered us the following, a new life, a new nature, and a new freedom. Through faith that, through faith that God's word is true, we can accept it. Um, you know, it says the Spirit himself testifies with our spirit that we are God's children. Now, if we are children, then we are the heirs, and heirs of God, and co-heirs with Christ. If indeed we share in his sufferings in order that we may also share in his glory. Through Christ's resurrection, it is possible for us to become just joint heirs with him. What an awesome gift he has given us. This means we can to do can to defeat eternal death and be resurrected with a new life and spiritual body when our physical body dies. Aren't you grateful that through the resurrection of Jesus, all these things are offered to you? You know, God's gift of life is free. And I'm reading like I need to nothing. Robert tells me I need to take a breath. But when I'm nervous, I talk fast, so... You know, if I'm up in um, our Sunday school area, it's not like this. I'm laid back and everything, but I'm sure that, you know, this is just different. It's a different way of life right now for everybody and all of us. Um, you know, the Lord suffered for the believer as our substitute, and he virtually, each, save one, died in Christ who represented him. The believer rose in Christ. The believer rose in Christ for the virtue of the eternal union which exists, exists between the saint and his Savior. You know, he he gave us so much. When he gave us new life, he gave us the power that sin is broken. He gave us that, um, you know, sin can no longer control us or hold us in bondage. Um, I've told you guys over and over in Sunday school what a great and wonderful gift that he is for us. I have been so blessed by watching y'all practice for the play and just already seeing that when we start going through the story that we've been learning and that we are acting out as our drama, that you guys just already um, just know how it flows, how the story of the, the crucifixion and the death and resurrection and all flows. And I think that I contribute that to you being a faith-based child. Um, from good parents, good teaching, and other things. Um, I just want you to know during this time to be encouraged. Um, um, Jesus died on that cross, um, and he bared those stripes for us for healing. And this, um, you know, whole thing with how our world has changed, um, take this time to, you know, mellow out a little bit, mellow out from electronics, mellow out from, um, as Lila plays Fortnite, um, mellow out from just worrying about baseball practice and, and band practice and you know but it still means that you still need to work on your math cadence and your reading just like Lyle was in here doing biology earlier I want to show you some of the stuff she's I want to share what my family's kind of been doing we've eaten everything out of the moon but Lyle was in here trying to do her biology you know this is her couple attempts at trying to focus but then you know she went off last night we were coloring we had a little bit of a coloring contest let's show you here this is mine I think like I'm a pretty good color this was Lila's y'all she still ain't getting this raccoon she still's not gonna get that raccoon um her and Robert think they are no um, we're hoping for the beach soon. I am a science person, so I'm all about the planets. This is me hoping I get to the beach soon in the sand. But with all those things being said, I know my lesson was fast. 
And I know that, um, you know, it's not, we're not in our norm, but y'all go back and read your scriptures. Um, just know that God is God and with him comes grace and mercy. And with him, all things are possible. Um, I love you. And there was a couple more things I wanted to share with y'all, but I don't know what I did with it. So anyways, um, stay steadfast. Uh, stay in prayer. Just know that me and Amanda and Carla and Leanna and your whole church and brother Baron, he loves y'all. And he's very proud of the uh, youth group that we have. I have a challenge for you. I know I'm not the most eloquent, but I do ask y'all, if you do watch this, have your granny, your papa, your nana, your aunt, your uncle, to at least drop a thumbs up in the comment section. Try to share it with somebody. And if um, you guys, um, I really want y'all to let me know if you did, because I want us to be able, when we go back to church, to be able to give Melanie um, our, or Miss Melody, our Sunday school count that we all did attend Sunday school. So remember your church family and your prayers. Remember all these other families and just know that um, I will, I or Amanda or somebody will see you Wednesday night. I may work on a YouTube live thing. Um, we're just going to have to work on some of this and figure out, navigate the new um, way right now. But first of all, keep Jesus first and foremost in your life. I love y'all more than you'll ever know. Have a good night. Amen.